Okay, this is part six. It's November 4th, 2015. I've done this at least a dozen times already. Take the refrigerator apart. There's been more ice on this thing. There was more ice on this thing this time when I took it apart than I've ever seen before. Um, evidently, the Vaseline treatment is not really a long-term fix. Well, of course, we knew it wasn't a long-term fix, but I thought maybe it would help me take the thing apart easier, and it didn't help me take the thing apart easier at all. Even the last few times, it was very difficult to get apart. Um, maybe next time use some cooking spray. Maybe it'll get into the cracks and crevices a little more. I don't know, but anyway. So, anyway, I was talking to my brother about this, and he has some ideas occasionally that are worth mentioning. And he happened to mention that this heating coil runs on 120 volts AC and it's going to be plugged in over here as you can see and it's possible that of course you want to you want to pull this out before you do anything obviously the refrigerator is off okay so you're going to pull that plug out you're going to snip these these wires right here snip them these are this is basically the entire coil that goes around and plugs in over here these are the two wires right so you're going to snip it and then you're going to create a little plug end that you can connect to your electric <laughs> electrical socket now this is all in theory am i telling you to do this no i'm telling you that it's a possibility that if you want to create a long-term fix you can do it so basically you would connect a couple wires to that you would feed it out through the side of this cover you would have them dangling and you know once every few days or a week you're gonna come and you're gonna plug it in now before I would do something like that I would probably check with somebody who knows more about this than myself um, an electrician or a refrigerator repair person who could say yeah that would you know in theory that that's a possibility um, also You'd want to test it in advance. I don't know how long to keep the heater on, to keep it plugged in. It might only be for like five minutes, 10 minutes. This heating coil should not get glowing red. If it does, it's getting way too hot. Um, it should just get nice and warm, warm enough to melt the ice and not let it accumulate. And when you do this, you probably want to unplug everything and just let the refrigerator sit because as the refrigerator is on, what ends up happening is that coil right there will just want to get continuously cold and you don't want to be fighting the cold against the hot you want to turn the cold off and it'll quickly get you know uh, room temperature if there's no ice on it and you, then you can run your heater for you know however long it takes that could be figured out researched and that should in theory get rid of the the ice build up and you could do that once a week or so for you know however you know however long you want to keep this piece of junk refrigerator until you totally had enough but if anybody tests this and it works please let me know if you burn your house down please let me know don't blame me I'm just telling you it's an idea um, anyway good luck with it please subscribe and if you like these videos please give me a thumbs up and have a great night. Bye.